Hello everyone, Cyber here for Cyber What Ifs. Um, so this will be the last part of Bane, obviously. Um, I also have to apologize for yesterday. I was trying to record this, but there were some issues. So I hope you guys can stand. <clears throat> I've also been dealing with allergies. It's becoming that time of year when summer becomes fall around where I'm at. Oh, starting to at least. So my nose will be all nasally, my throat clogged, and my nose too. So that's probably why I will sound a bit weird around this time of year. But anyways... Um, yeah. This is the What If Bane. Uh, before we actually start, I will be posting what will be taking the place of Bane after this is over. Um, there's going to be a poll. I'm going to let that settle for three days. And after three days, whatever was voted in to be the next What If, I'll, you know, start recording that, posting it, all that good stuff. So yeah, without further ado, let's begin. So, we started with a few day time skip of what happened after Endeavor, after Endeavor was killed. So, Night Eye has assembled his task force to raid Bane's main base of operation, the Yakuza Gate. And they all are currently outside, where the police officer knocks on the door of the gate. Hello. Sir, we are here to, all of a sudden, Rapper and Reki? I don't know how to say his name properly. Stamina, dude. Bust through the gate. Ugh, it's too easy. What do you all want? Oh, too early for this. What do you all want? It's never too early for a fight. Ryuku transforms into a dragon form. Well, if you want to fight, we'll give you one. Uh, such a bother. The stamina guy injects himself with venom. And due to that, he grows not only in height, but in muscle mass. Green glowing veins. So, if you're wondering how big, so he outweighs and outheights Ryuku now. What a pain! He grabs Ryuku by the neck and slams her into the ground. <laughs> this will be fun. Be careful with the that one. The boss told you who you, you don't want to kill. That still doesn't mean we can't beat the living crap out of them. Oh, so Bane has people who doesn't want to be killed. Well, if you don't mind me asking, who are they? Rapa starts to punch rapidly at Ryuku. Or Ryuku dot um, no Ryuku, but Miriko. <clears throat> so. Well, as Mir Miriko just punches back. Oh, not punching back, but. Basically, just flees back, jumps back, and all that. Well, the dragon lady and you mostly. Hmm, well then, I guess that means I have a free pass then. As Miyako ke keeps jumping back from his punches. <clears throat> now, I didn't say that. So he throws a giant punch, but gets blocked by Fat Gum. Get inside, team. So, we'll ha handle this for now. Right. So, everyone ran inside, making their way. So, taking that. And a few more taking on Rapa and Stamina Guy. But the police and hero continue to struggle past the base and goons. 
while they're all on Venom. As Deku's in his office currently until Kronos bursts in. Boss, the heroes are here earlier than we expected. Hmm, I see. Get Toga and Darby along with yourself to escort Aerie out of the base throughout one of the back exoduses while I do delete the files and get rid of any evidence. Yes, sir. And if anything happens for me, it's been an honor serving you. Same with you. Now get going. Right away. <clears throat> he goes to tell Toga and Avi their jobs, while Deku starts destroying evidence, but we all now cut to Miyoko, who's taking out villains with Night Eye and a few others running down the hallways. Eventually, they came in contact with said three villains, Darby, Toga, Chrono, but with also Aerie. Hmm. So, you're here sooner than we thought. You two can take care of them, but leave the bunny hero alive. What the? Aerie? Miss Bunny Lady. No, Aerie. Come on, we must go. Oh, okay, Mr. Kronos. They continue to walk. No, wait! Miyoko jumps at full force at Toga and Dobby and slams both feet into Toga's chest, breaking several ribs and running after Sir Airy. Ah, my tits! God, shit. Krona can deal with her. So, let's hold the vest off, shall we? For Bane. <laughs> yeah, for Bane. They both get ready and Darby th shoots fire at Night Eye and the others. While Darby was holding off them, Miyuko eventually catches up to Chrono and Aerie. Damn it, they can't never just do their jobs. Okay, buddy, just hand over Aerie and no one gets hurt. I'm sorry, but I can't do that. He, Chrono pulls out a gun. Oh, don't you remember not to kill me? Damn it, Rapper. So why don't you just put the gun down? Chrono does put the gun away. The boss is probably going to kick my ass for this. No, I won't. I don't think... They turn around to see Deku. But Bane, I... It is fine, Chrono. I've deleted everything. Now get out of here. I'll handle the rest. Yes, sir. This is goodbye, Aerie. Really? I think so. Okay. Bye, Mr. Kronos. Goodbye. Kronos walks off to escape. Now, on to business. Currently, Bane... Uh, Deku is wearing the Bane mask, so... Mir... Wait, Izuku? <laughs> you don't think you did Nothing can get past you. I figured we could at least have a fight before you see anything. Yeah, well, it's pretty easy to tell as you with your body type and voice. Hmm, I was thinking of putting a voice modifier on it, but... Come here too soon. Oh, yeah? I'm sure, but still. What the fuck? I've been hanging out with a drug lord? Yet alone, I've slept in the same bed as you. Mirko jumps at him and throwing an axe kick. Deku grabs his leg and throws her to the other side of the hallway. Sad to say yes. Eri, go to my office for a bit. If you don't mind, me and Ryumi will have a talk. <clears throat> um, uh, okay... Aerie goes into the office and shuts the door. Now then. As Deku turns around, Miyoko kicks him in the face and jumps back. Ugh, that was a cheap shot, don't you think? So is your lies. How long have this been going on, huh? He Miyoko goes to kick him again. Only a few months. And the same thing, Deku grabs Miyako's leg and throws her. I actually only 
got in charge just before I met you. It started with the sludge run after I showed up. All the that pathetic wannabe heroes. Deku rips off a chunk of the wall and throws it at her. The lead of the Yakuza approached me for a job. Miyako uses the chunk of wall to jump off like a platform and goes for a punch to Deku's face. And a kick to his abdomen. So what? You just have... So I, you have up on your dreams? So you gave up on your dreams? <sighs> so, no. It was one step closer to reality. Deku backhand Miracle way down to the out to the hallway. Miracle spits out blood. And what then? Become a criminal underlord and rule over all Japan? Japan? No. To destroy the symbol of hope and fear. I've succeeded in that mission. All might has gone and all for one. <clears throat> so what? What happened now? You're just going to leave me and run all the underwear? Miyako jumps, is pissed at hell and is a beginner on the verge of crying. But she keeps on fighting, kicking and punching. No, you. I've never had that intent. I wouldn't leave you. You. All of this. All I've done. All I had done. Nothing but to help you end this world in the end. I've lowered the crime rate just by my word. Alone. So you could spend more time with Ari. You've been able to rest. You've been seeing your family, which you've only been able to do once a year. So what, this was all for me? I call bullshit. Miyako does an axe kick and Deku catches it, throwing her again. <clears throat> You're right. I didn't do this just for you. I did this for her, Aerie. When I got this job, the Yakuza was... I was the Yakuza's lab rat for Venom. But when Aerie entered the picture to become a new lab rat, that was a far more sin than any man could commit. The man who put to be in charge would break down her in pieces. Said, for her quirk, had the that she had planned to make quirk erasing bullets out of her blood, so I ended up becoming the leader and ruling the underworld along the way with many you. Miyako is shocked and stops her attack, as Deku stops his pursuit and takes off the mask. As he does, several police comes by. Freeze! All the police aims a gun at Deku. Deku so looks back at Ryumi and Ryumi. Take care of her, Ryumi. As Deku pulls up his hands, I surrender. The police moves in and takes Deku and puts him in heavy restraints. I'm willing to negotiate with the heroes. Negotiate? At the state of... At the station. Now come on, get moving. The police moves Deku out while Miyako was still shocked and ran to the office. But something that the police were put off by was Deku didn't stop smiling. It's like he knew something was about to happen that made this whole raid completely a waste of time. As we cut to... Miyako bursting into the office. Airy? Airy! Bunny lady! Airy runs up to Miyako and hugs her. Where's Papa at? Um, your Papa had to um, go on a business trip. So you will be staying with me for a while. Uh, okay. So we cut to when Deku is in. I reinforce cell in the police station as the head of the safety committee walks in. Ah, good. You're here. Please, take a seat. I would shake your hand, but the cuffs are reinforced. 
Hmm. Funny. I thought you would have been be having this talk with Awful One, not a two-bit crime lord. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but I don't think Awful One will be answering any calls after me and him had our last talk. I'm well aware, since he isn't making the same calls as he did before. Hmm. Fair. Anyway, I will cut to the chase. I will cut the deal. Oh. And what makes you think you're in a position of power here? Because it's my word alone that keeps the streets clean from a bunch of venom and trigger filled junkies from causing chaos around the world. Hmm. I do need someone to keep the peace for a while. Fine. We can cut this deal off record though. Perfect. You give me and all my subordinates immunity, so we have to continue our operations and return. I will give you all of all for one's allies contacts and the man who creates the no moves, the monsters that killed All Might. Hmm, fine. And when the day does come for a real symbol to come, I w you to disappear like you never existed. So, Hawks won't be as satisfying hero because so number one for a bit, and after you killed um Endeavor. Hmm. I think we have a deal then. Good. Now you won't be released today. It will take a couple of time to cover up your tracks. Not to mention, so we need to make this seem like something else, not capturing the world that uh, Japan's most wanted. I understand. Deku starts to stand up and use all his strength to rip off the chains from the walls. So, to the new symbol of peace and fear, holds out his hand to shake the head lady. Hmm. To the new boogeyman of the underworld. So now, we cut to a few days later, at Mirko's house, where he, she hears a knock at the door. Hmm? Mama, who's that? Hold on, let me see. Mirko opens the door and she sees Deku. Uh, Izuku? Hello, Yumi. Papa! Eri runs up to him and hugs his leg. <laughs> Hello, little one. Every uh, gets picked up by Deku. Did you have a good business trip? Mm, yes. It was very enlightening. That's good. Me and Mama has been playing a lot of fun games. Mama? Looks at Miracle. Um, she asked if I could, she could call me that, and I agreed. Hmm. Well, Harry. Can you give me and Mama some time to talk? Okay. So, Ari runs back into the house as she runs to her room. Mirko closes the door and goes to the living room at Deku. So. So. Care to explain how you're, why you're back? I cut the deal with the head of the safety committee. I keep villains in check, make sure they aren't any other organizations like the LOV showing up and I give them the information in return. I get complete immunity from police or heroes. But as soon as the new symbol piece shows him or herself, I disappear like nothing. Hmm. <laughs> Figures. But you and Ari are my main reason I came back. You know. And why that I'm why is that? I mean, I know Ari, but me? Really me? You're because you're the only one who gave me who gets me. Ever since we met, I enjoyed our time, I continue I wanted to continue that. Uh, I feel the same but by 
there will be several conditions. I already made a deal with the Headache Safety Committee. I can make another. First, I want no more secrets between us. Sir. Sir. Between everyone else? Yes. But us? No. Second, you and I will bring Ari to meet my parents after a week of us dating and shit. And no, bringing work home at any point. Got it? As Mirko just pokes his chest. And Deku just grabs it. Her hand. <laughs> I got it. Deku kisses her hand and keeps kissing it up to her arm, then to her neck. As Mirko looks at a soft moan. Mm. Stop. Ari's still here. I called Ryuku, your friend, to pick her up. As we who comes in. Hey Remy, I came by and oh um I see you're busy. I'll just take Ari for the night I guess. Um So um it's nice to meet you, Bane. But Ryuku walks past them and continues to get to get Ari for the day. So huh? No, I as Miyoko continues to moan a bit, as they are now alone, as Eri gets to go with Ryuku. Well, oh now, so if you don't mind, I think we should have to consummate this reunion of ours. Deku picks her up, and, well, we all know what's gonna happen. So Miyoko and Deku do their thing, we do a time skip of a few years. Deku has been ruling over the underworld with a iron fist and has become and been living his days as a simple man with a family. So that Miyoko eventually had a kid of their own with Deku and because now Mirio has now become the number one hero eventually. So when the will consider him as one, the symbol of peace, Deku could hit stop in his operations, destroying all the trigger and venom formulas. He kept the, them at his place, of course, hidden, but he still doesn't sell them. He settled with a simple life with plenty of riches for years to come, so they can live comfortably. To raise their ch children, Ari and his son. And eventually, Mirko introduced Ari and Deku to her parents. And the day did came when Deku returned back to his home to meet Inko again. And introducing his wife and two kids. They all were happy at the end of this journey of theirs. And that is What If Deku Was Bane. I hope you guys enjoyed. Yeah, um, this What If I've seen not a plenty, not seen a lot of people do. I figured it would be at least good to do a What If like this, considering not a whole lot of people I said do it. At least do it that good. I think a lot of people can agree with me on that. But I do think this is a good start to some what ifs like this. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'll be posting this and then the polls for what what if you guys want. So yeah, cyber out.